Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1385. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook, Excel Magic Trick 1385 start file or the finished file so you could follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we got a great video here. We got to talk about importing tables from an SQL server database into either Power Pivot or Power BI data model using Power Query. Now, our database we're going to access is called Boomerang. And there is a fact table with transactions, about 7 million of them, and a number of related tables like a product lookup table and country name lookup table. All right, let's see how to do this. I have Excel 2016, so on the Data Ribbon tab, Get and Transform, that's my Power Query. In Excel 2010 or 13, you can download Power Query as an extra tab. You can also use Power BI Desktop to access this new query. Now let's go to New Query from Database. And there it is, the first option, From SQL Server Database. I click that. It wants to know the server name. The server name is pawn.highline.edu, the database. Boomerang, all lowercase. Now that's all we need, but let's look at advanced options. Now you could write an SQL statement to pull your data, but as Ken Pauls and Miguel Escobar say in their Power Query book, M is for Data Monkey, unless you're an SQL ninja, you shouldn't write it here. Just use the Power Query user interface because it'll send it back to the SQL database and the code will be optimized there. So we're not going to write the code. We also don't want to check include relationship columns. That just means the related tables will pull in extra columns with data from the related tables. And we don't need that. If we kept it check, we just have to delete those columns when we get to the query editor. Now I'm going to click OK. Now we need to enter our credentials, our username and password. It's not a Windows, but a database username and password. Now the username, Excel is fun, all lowercase, tab, password, as long as I can type correctly. That should be the password, capital E, I before is, F before fun, and explanation point. Now we can click Connect. This message just says, hey, this is going to be an unencrypted connection. That's fine. We click OK. Here's our navigator window looking into the database at the various objects. I'm going to check select multiple items. And we want our F transaction, D product, and D country. Those three tables we want to import into the Power Query editor. So I'm going to click the Edit button. Over on the left, we can see one, two, three different queries. Over here, we see the name and the steps for each. Now, transaction is first. I'm going to make sure that it got the right data types. This is our primary key. Integer is fine. Date, text, text. Integer for quantity, scroll over. Revenue discount and net standard discount, those are decimals. That's fine. And text. So that's looking good. I'm going to click on my second query, D product. There's the name. There's the steps. Text is fine. These are going to be dollar amounts. So I'm going to click the icon to change the data type. And I'm going to change it from decimal, which is which if I remember, has up to 15 decimal places. When we select currency, that limits it to four decimal places. I'm going to do the same over here, currency. Text is fine. Now we click on D country, text and text, looking good. Now we can close and load, close and load two. We definitely want to say create only a connection. We cannot dump the big table into our Excel spreadsheet, and we want to dump this into the data model. Click load. Over here, you could see it is working on importing, and it'll take a while. And there we go, 7.7 .7 million records and then two small lookup tables. Now we can go look in the data model, either over on the Power Pivot Ribbon tab, Manage Data Model. 
But you know, we were all in the data ribbon tab. And if you have the right version and have Power Pivot, that button is right there. Also, the keyboard is Alt A D M. We can see there is our F transaction table, 7.7 .7 million records. Our D country, 126 records. And our D product, 22 records. All right, I'm going to close this Alt F4. That was a little fun with importing tables from an SQL server database into Power Pivot or Power BI data model. In our next couple of videos, we'll build on this import here. Next video, we'll import and append a text file. And then two videos ahead, we'll build a pivot table and some DAX formulas. All right, we'll see you next video.